and welcome back to Life Afloat. Today I'm going to talk to you about the effects that uh, the coronavirus has had or is having on the boating community. Uh, before I get stuck into that, uh, I just want to mention a couple of things. The first thing is if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I am tantalisingly close to 400 now and it would be great to get there uh, by the end of the month. That'd be fantastic. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so uh, and click the uh, the old notification bell uh, so you don't miss any of my future videos. The second thing I wanted to mention was a Facebook group that I have started. Um, it's not solely for this YouTube channel. It's uh, called Boat Vloggers and it's for anyone who's a boat vlogger to come along and join and post links to their videos and also people who aren't boat vloggers but enjoy watching the videos and they can come join and uh, interact with the vloggers and uh, you know find new channels that they haven't found previously and, and more stuff to watch and enjoy. So uh, in this video then a bit of a serious subject I guess coronavirus and, and its effects that it's having on the boating community. As I said in my last video it's affecting the whole world pretty much at the moment um, but obviously living on a boat myself I thought I would share how it's affecting me and the other boaters, um, other residential liveaboard boaters um, because obviously there are quite a few changes for us. Uh, CRT, the Canal and River Trust who manage all the waterways in, in uh, Britain or the majority of them anyway there's a few that the Environment Agency uh, are responsible for but generally it's the Canal and River Trust um, they have set out some rules. Um, as you know, I'm a continuous cruiser, so every 14 days I have to move the boat to a new spot. Um, we're now not allowed to move the boat. Um, every 14 days we are staying put until further notice. So there's no cruising of any kind um, unless you need to get to the facility points. So water points, L sands or pump outs uh, and bins. That's the only time you can move your boat, um, apart from a couple more exceptions uh, to that rule. Um, if you happen to start a new job, say I start a new job in Milton Keynes as a key worker, I would be able to move the boat once close uh, to Milton Keynes so that I can commute to and from work as a key worker. Um, and you can move to a town if you need to go and get your food supplies uh, or medication and that sort of thing um, but then obviously you need to moor up and stay in the same place as soon as possible after that so the impact really of the no cruising rules is is essentially that we miss cruising you know we're boaters we like moving the boat we enjoy cruising along the the waterways it's calming it's relaxing it's it's just an enjoyable way to spend your day um, and we can't do that at the moment now um I want to talk a bit about towpaths. This is the other sort of major thing, really, that's uh, that's happening at the moment. Um, the Canal and River Trust have uh, created a rule saying uh, people who want to use their hours exercise on the towpaths can do so. However, not near moored boats. And the reason for that is because the towpaths generally are less than two metres wide. So the whole two metre social distancing thing is a bit tricky. If you're moored up near a town or a city, you will notice that the towpaths have been very busy. Uh, there's loads of people going out for their daily exercise, runners, cyclists, families going out for walks, that sort of thing. Um, and it's not because they're breaking the rules. They don't want to be rebels and, and say, no, I'm not doing that. It's because they don't know about it. Um, you know, it's not a well advertised rule. There are signs in certain places along the canals um, advising people of that. Um, and it's on their social medias, their website and their email newsletters they send round. But the vast majority of people don't receive those emails or don't check the CRT's websites and social media accounts for updates. Um, boaters receive the emails obviously they're signed up as part of their license that you, you pay to have your boat on the water they have the email address and they send you their newsletter and their updates and what have you but generally people won't uh, know about it so um, for me personally uh, it's not 
a big issue. Um, if I happen to be on my front well deck and I see some people coming down, if I feel uncomfortable, I can just step back into the boat. It's no big deal. Or I can move to the, the other side furthest away and I'll be two metres away from them at that point, probably. So it's not a big deal for me. But I know some boaters have been panicking about it and I've heard arguments between boaters and towpath users and it's uh you know emotions are running high with some people um with the current situation but yeah i mean what what are your views about it comment below um should you be going past more boats on the towpath do you see that as an issue um i mean we're on lockdown so strictly speaking boaters should be inside their boat right that's my view on it um and if you're inside your boat and somebody walks past it's not a massive issue um, unless of course I've got the side hatch open or and the window open as it is now then I guess potentially there is there is issue there you know with the virus coming in through the windows or through the side hatch I suppose um, but yeah let me know what what you think about it you know everyone has a right to use the towpath the towpaths are there for everybody to enjoy they're not owned by the boaters you know fishermen can use them although not at the moment uh, joggers walkers cyclists you know, whoever wants to use a towpath can use a towpath. Um, it's just at the moment, the CRT is saying don't use it by moored boats. Um, obviously, I have Daisy. She used to have three, sometimes four walks a day. We're down to one walk a day at the moment, um, which is frustrating. And obviously, she needs to go out to the toilet as well more than once a day. So what I'm doing there is just putting her on a extending lead and I'm staying on the front of the boat and just letting her just stay next to our boat and not go any further and go to the toilet. And if I need to go and clear up after her, then I'll hop off very quickly and do that. So one walk a day. I don't think she's overly impressed with that. Are you? What do you reckon? One walk a day? Hmm? Um, so those are really the, the main impacts that it's having for us boaters, um, not being able to cruise unless we need to go to facilities um, and people on the towpath. And Daisy appears to like the taste of my jeans. She's giving them a good old clean. Um, feel free to subscribe, please do. Help me get past the 400 barrier before the end of the month. That'd be fantastic. Uh, comment. Love all your comments. Um, and obviously click the thumbs up button to like the video and I'd appreciate that a lot. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Cheers.